Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on raising a fraction to a fractional and negative power. And in these kind of questions we have here, the index of your power is both negative and fractional. Negative and fractional. And also this thing we've got down here is fractional as well. Now, we saw in a previous video how we could combine fractional and negative powers. I tend to do the negative part of the power first, and then I do the fractional part. And you would often see words like evaluate with these kind of questions. So evaluate or calculate or determine this value. Yeah. So let's deal with the negative part of the power first. Do you remember, when you have a negative power, you do one over this thing here. And when you do one over a fraction, we saw it just flips it upside down. We say it reciprocates it. So we've dealt with the negative part of the power by flipping this upside down, and we've got rid of that minus now in the power. And now we've got a power of a half. Now remember, when we have a power of a half, we square root this thing here. So we just do the square root of 4 over 9. And if you want to square root 4 over 9, we just square root the 4, which is 2, and we square root the 9, which is 3. And we've got our final answer. What about this one? Again, we've got a negative power, so I'm going to deal with the minus first in the power and flip this fraction as a result. So that's going to become 8 over 27. And we've now dealt with that minus, we're just left with a power of 2 thirds. We don't flip this fraction, by the way, it's just this one here. Now, we've got a more complicated fractional power because the numerator is not 1. But remember, we always deal with the denominator in the fractional power first. So we've got this 3 here, that means we cube root this fraction here. So the cube root of 8 over 27, well, the cube root of 8 is 2, and the cube root of 27 is 3. So we've dealt with this denominator in the fractional power here, the 3, and we're just left with that 2 in the numerator now. And then 2 thirds squared, well, I just need to do 2 squared and 3 squared. So 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is equal to 9. And we are done.